Hello, my name is Stephen Upton, and in this short film we're going to visit a British military cemetery near the town of Epes in Belgium. It's only one cemetery of 173 that surround this town. The Epes salient was infamous to British soldiers in the First World War. And it's also only one of nearly a thousand British cemeteries situated in Belgium and France from the Great War. This cemetery was known as either Railway Dugout Cemetery or Transport Farm. But since the war, the name Dugout, Railway Dugout Cemetery has been adopted. You can see on the right there in the background the farm buildings. That's the modern location of what would have been Transport Farm. And during the war, this area was a casualty clearing station. Hence, many graves surrounding it. The cemetery was opened in April of 1915, but most of the graves date from later in the war, particularly 1917. There's 2,459 individual graves here, British and Commonwealth soldiers. And you can see on these gravestones on the left there, the maple leaf, signifying that they are Canadian soldiers. 430 of these soldiers are unidentified. It's quite common actually. And for each grave that we see, in all of the cemeteries that we have, it only represents 50% of all those killed, for the other half have no known graves. Notice on these headstones what looks like a cross. That's crossed machine guns. Those men were in the machine gun corps. What is unique about British graves, as opposed to American, French and German, is each grave shows the cap badge of the unit the soldier was belonged to. In the distance there you can see Hill 60 and the Caterpillar. And Hill 60 again was an infamous location where many of these soldiers would have been killed. Cemeteries that were created after the war are extremely neat and in, in very precise lines. But in a moment as we swing back around to the left you'll see quite a number of the graves here seem to be randomly placed. And they're the ones from the earlier part of the war. Unfortunately the German front line came over here during their 1918 offensives and this area was subjected to very heavy shelling. And as a consequence, many of the earlier burials were destroyed by artillery fire. By the end of the war, in November of 1918, there was approximately 1,700 graves in this cemetery. And although there are today 173 British cemeteries in the vicinity, there were actually quite a lot more. Many of the British cemeteries were extremely small, just a handful of graves. Ah, there you can see the train on the railway embankment. Uh, and at the end of the war there was a consolidation where a lot of these very, very small cemeteries where the graves were reinterred in the larger ones. Uh, so a number of small cemeteries people were reburied here. You can see here with the way they are randomly spaced and in fact there are some further away over there that are even at right angles. This is a typical British headstone, H.A. Purcell Royal Field Artillery, giving the date of death, number, rank and name, the age, but also their cap badge. In the distance on the right you can see the Cross of Sacrifice, that is something that's consistent to all British cemeteries. This gentleman, Woodford M.M., the M.M. stands for Military Medal. This is a gallantry award. The highest award for a soldier is the Victoria Cross. Below that, the Distinguished Conduct Medal, the DCM, and then the MM. So it's what we would call a third tier gallantry award. This area itself wasn't just behind the front line for the entire war. It actually was uh, a battlefield 
when the Germans launched their offensives of 1918, uh, this area was subject to quite heavy shelling. And the Germans came very close to the outskirts of Ypres at that time. 430 of the burials in this cemetery are unknown soldiers, and this is the headstone that they get, a soldier of the Great War. Unfortunately, it's not possible when these were buried to identify everyone. Today, of course, with DNA testing, we can do so. Uh, but with so many hundreds of thousands of graves, it wouldn't be practical to, to identify all the unknown ones today. I'm sure that in that railway embankment, there's still dozens of dugouts in there. They were heavily reinforced to be able to resist shell fire. This officer, Lieutenant Colonel Dugmore, DSO, that is the Distinguished Service Order. I always find these cemeteries in extremely peaceful places. These are Canadian soldiers, notice the maple leaf. They're quiet, they're peaceful, wonderful locations to go and sit and reflect. I hope you found this video educational and perhaps even inspires you that if you're ever in the vicinity to visit one or two of our cemeteries. The British Commonwealth War Graves Commission do a fantastic job maintaining them. Their aim is to keep them looking like an English garden. Thank you for watching.